KO, number 24, Razor Ramon, a.k.a. Scott Hall. Scott Hall was one of the biggest WWE superstars of the 1990s. He came in and uh, he, he had this character where he was like this uh, Miami thug. He had the gold chains. He had the machismo. He had the toothpick. He had the, the slick black hair. He had a great look. And uh, he's a very tall guy, six foot six, six foot seven, something like that. But he was a big guy, and um, he went out there and he really connected with the people. Scott Hall was a very solid in ring worker. He wasn't the, the best high flyer, the best technical wrestler, but he could go out there and just uh, give the people a great show. And uh, on the mic, he was really good. And um, he, he, uh, he was just overall. When you look at all of his attributes, he was just very, very solid. And perhaps if he didn't have his personal problems, he could have been a WWE champion. He was definitely one of the, one of the most recognizable figures of WWE during the 90s. I mean, uh, I, I would uh, go, to, go to school or whatever, and I'd see kids with Razor Ramon t-shirts. He, 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 uh, he touched a lot of people. And uh, he did the Make-A-Wish Foundations and... Uh, he, he was a big deal to a lot of people, and uh, even though this is strictly a WWE list, you look at what he did in WCW, I think a lot of the NWO's success had to do with the fact that Scott Hall was such a big superstar in WWE. So, um, Scott Hall, absolutely deserving, in my opinion, to be in the top 25.